And China says it monitored the entire progress of the two U.S. B-52 bombers that flew into its newly declared air defense zone. Now, the defense ministry says that the jets were identified in a timely way and it kept track of their flight. It insists it has the ability to effectively manage and control the airspace. The two unarmed jets uh, took off from Guam on Monday in what Washington says was a routine exercise. But their flights did not comply with the new rules set by Beijing over the weekend, which requires any planes in the, air, in the new area to give flight plans or risk facing defensive emergency measures. The United States uh, gave a move, uh, gives a support for Japan, which is lacked in a, locked in a bitter dispute with China over a chain of islands that included in Beijing's new air defense zone. Both Tokyo and Washington have refused to acknowledge China's claims. It's also a warning that Washington will push back against what it considers Beijing's increasingly aggressive stance in the region. Our role is to continue to encourage both sides to uh, move forward um, with dialogue, um, to express uh, concerns when we disagree with steps that China has taken, which is, is a case we've obviously uh, done here, uh, but our position on the islands uh, that this uh, impacts, of course, has not changed. Meanwhile, Japan media say Tokyo is reportedly considering a similar move to expand its own air defense zone in the Pacific Ocean and station fighter jets in the area. But spokesman at the defense ministry says while the government is determined to protect Japan's territory, it won't be expanding its air defense zone just yet. China's declaration has also upset South Korea, Taiwan and Germany. But Beijing rejected concerns by Australia when it summoned the Chinese ambassador to ask for an explanation. Beijing says Canberra's remarks that the move raises regional tensions are irresponsible and completely wrong. We spoke with Dr. Michael McGinley from the Australian National University and he assesses China's move in the wake of rising opposition from its neighbours. They have put themselves in a, in a precarious position, but it is not beyond the wit and the imagination of the regional powers to, to work something out. What China will need to do is to say that maybe it will suspend the declaration, uh, maybe it, it's looking for some uh, serious uh, dialogue with Japan, because it has been saying for some time that, that the attempts that Japan has been making are, are lacking in seriousness for various reasons. But Clearly that the situation as it stands is untenable both for commercial and for military aircraft.